Hey everybody, um, I'm just doing a tutorial video on uh, editing vocals on Acid Pro 7. Um, I prefer Acid Pro 7 and if you got a, a later version, I prefer you to um, upgrade immediately. Um, everything just looks better, it flows better, it works out better. Um, uh, this is just gonna be a short tutorial, nothing in depth, nothing specific. If you want an in depth video, then let me know because I actually tried to look up some videos to help me get more in depth with the editing my vocals, and there really weren't any, so I know people in need of those. But this is just for beginners, nothing, nothing too serious. I'm just gonna say the basics and go through a couple things you should know if you if you need to edit any vocals for videos, songs, or anything. Um, first off, uh, the most important thing you need to know is the volume of your vocals. Uh, the effects, yeah, that's, that's important, but the first thing you need to do is you need to get the volume of your vocals uh, on link with the song and make sure all you, and like me, I don't record straight through, so you have to make sure all your vocals are in sync. So when you go from track to track, it still it still flows. It doesn't go from low to loud or loud to low. It just flows together. Uh, so these right here are your volumes. You should listen to the song a couple times and make sure everything flows. It's just the volumes. Like this volume is way higher than this volume. That's because I recorded this one lower. But it was I said everything clearly, so I had no reason to re-record. So I just brought that up to so it focuses with that uh, volume. Um, yeah, and also I record different tracks on the same. I record different verses on the same track. So sometimes I might I make the mistake where. It, I, this track might be high but this track might be low and I might adjust it just based off of this track and then I save it and then I come back and hey this track was lower so it's it doesn't flow so just make sure everything flows um, and also when you add a fix make sure you you go back and listen to the song because some effects do lower the volume of the actual vocal and that may that may just be based on the preset setting so make sure you check that out um if you want anything edited like a, a song or vocals or video or anything put together just email me i leave my email and i leave a link to this song so you can see how i actually um edited it and you can see how it sounds and see that it's not just a bunch of garbage that i'm trying to tell you because it sounds way better than it did when I actually recorded it because my voice kind of sucks. But after you get your volume straight and you edit, make everything flow, this is your master volume. This is where once you finish, if you feel like you got everything perfect but the song is too low, you can bring the song volume up. And this is the tempo. If you feel like you want the tempo to be faster, you edit the tempo, go left for slower, right for faster. Um, and let's get into the effects. To get to the effects, you click on track effects, which is the green thing. It looks like a sideways T or something. But you click on that. The effects I usually use are simple delay, smooth enhance, track compressor, and noise gate. Uh, simple delay is uh, a echo. If you want an echo on your voice, I usually set mine to around 26. Uh, volume I echo at about 26 volume and my delay at about 705 uh, smooth enhance uh, just whether you want it to be smoother or you want to enhance it and bring it out more um, track compressor that's uh, that's kind of once you go into the advanced part of editing a song um, I'll go into depth in the, into that if you want. Um, just let me know. Uh, noise gate, that's kind of self-explanatory. But those, if, you, if you're if you serious about 
sounding good, then I would use those effects. Um, but like I said, just email me or hit me up, and uh, I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, email you back and if you want me to do a video on a certain a certain part or aspect of Acid Pro just let me know and I'll do it the same day within the same uh, few hours probably because um, I'm always doing something um, or you want me to uh, help you with a song email it to me and I'll uh, edit it that same around the same time pretty quickly um but yeah just make sure your your volumes of your vocals and your track are on point and just make sure you have that echo on point and make sure um you 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 just make sure your detail Cause I used to just record and just save it and be done but make sure you're detailed and make sure it's not too loud not too low and and just be detailed but it's different for everybody because for me when I record I want people to hear me I want I want my voice to stand over the beat I want people to hear what I'm saying so